I always tell people and I always say, be careful where you get your legal advice from. And one place you do not, absolutely do not want to get your legal advice is from a makeup video. So let's talk about that a minute. Welcome to The Law and Life. I'm your host, Patrick McGee, and I'm a Florida trial lawyer. And I try to bring you news and information on the legal industry as well as how to do things in the legal areas that will be beneficial to you and helpful to you. So I get an email from a viewer, Beverly, and she attaches a link and I watch the link and it's a makeup video. And I couldn't understand why she was sending me a makeup video. So I watched it. And in the makeup video, I realized that the girl doing makeup and showing people how to do makeup started opining about recent Supreme Court decisions and how she disagreed with them. And there, of course, there's a lot of disagreement about recent decisions. But one of the cases she pointed out in particular was the case where she said the Supreme Court sides with polluters and doesn't want to protect the environment. And the case she's referring to is West Virginia versus the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. It would be funny if she wasn't just so misinformed and wrong about what the case entails. And that's why you always have to be careful where you get your legal advice from. You know, just because something happened to Uncle Joe doesn't mean it applies to your case. And in this case, this lady was so misinformed, it's, it's not even amusing. Anyway, so how do we get here in the first place? Well, the EPA is an agency of the government that makes up rules to implement laws. Laws are passed by Congress. The House and the Senate pass the law, send it to the president. The president signs it. It's a bicameral process. And then the agencies, the EPA and agencies like that, called the alphabet agencies, make up rules to implement the laws. So the EPA made up rules on emissions caps for coal and natural gas power plants. And the state of West Virginia sued, saying that they couldn't do that. What the court said, they didn't side with the polluters, but what the court says is an agency of the government has to have specific congressional authority to do what they did. And in the act which the EPA was going under, they didn't have clear congressional authority to devise emissions caps. So if Congress had to put in the bill that the EPA is to promongo rules and determine emissions caps for these power plants, then they would have been fine. But the EPA was going beyond what their authority was to do in this particular case. And that's a, that's a bad thing. You don't want agencies making up laws administratively because they're not elected officials. You want your elect, elected representatives to make up laws. And you want the agencies of the government that make rules for those laws to be within that statutory authority and not make up rules which amount to more laws. Anyway, always, always be careful where you get your legal advice from. If the person giving you legal advice is not a lawyer, do not take their legal advice. I wouldn't even listen to it. Always get your legal advice from a lawyer who is versed in the field which your issue applies. Thanks for joining us here on Law & Life. I look forward to seeing you next time. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time, have a great day.